Hey everybody, my name is Frank and this is the Pothon Programming Video Log and today I'm going to talk about how to calculate the length of a two-dimensional vector. So right now I have two vectors, V0 and V1. One has an X magnitude of 40 pixels, the other has a Y magnitude of 40 pixels. And we can see that each of their lengths is 40 pixels. That's because of this equation right here, this is the length equation. So to get the length of V0, we're going to plug in uh, the square of its x magnitude plus the square of its y magnitude, and we're going to get the square root of that value. So 40, let's do it. We'll do 40 times 40 is 40 squared plus 0 times 0 is 0. So we have 40 squared. We get the square root of 40 squared, which is just going to be 40, and we get that length. Basically the same deal for this. Cool thing is, doesn't matter what orientation your vector is in, you can get the length with this equation. Uh, right now, the length of vector 0 is going to be 151 pixels, point, you know, 5585, all that. So you can basically calculate the length of any vector with this formula. And another cool thing that you can do with it is calculate the length between two arbitrary points, which is actually pretty useful. So instead of thinking as of this as a vector right here, let's think of it as two points. Let's think of this as a P1 and this is P0. We could just, to get the vector between p1 and p0, we would just do p1.x minus p0.x for the x value of our vector that we're creating. And then we do p1.y minus p0.y for the y value of the vector we're creating. And then we would take that vector we just created and use this equation on its values to get the length between these two points. So there you go. You can use this equation to calculate the length of a vector. You could also use it to calculate the length between two arbitrary points by creating a vector from them and then running this equation on that vector. Let me go ahead and show you the source code that I use here. It's basically the same equation. There's, there's literally nothing to it. I've got a math.square root vector.x times vector.x. That's going to get our square of the x magnitude of the vector plus vector.y times vector.y. That's going to get the y magnitude squared of the vector, the, we're going to get the square root of that, and it's going to give us our length. Now one cool thing I want to note before I go is that this format is very similar to dot product. If we take a look at dot product, it's going to be vector 0.x times vector 1.x plus vector 0.y times vector 1.y, whereas length, instead of having another vector that we're going to add in here or multiply in here, we're going to just do the same vector multiplied by itself. So we're squaring the magnitude here of a vector with itself. When we're doing dot product, we're going to multiply the magnitude of one vector with the magnitude of another vector. But if you look at the form, it's still x times x plus y times y. And I think that's pretty cool. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned how to calculate the length between two arbitrary points and the length of a vector. Come on back and we'll do some more vector math.